How's everyone doing today? It's Fernando Bu, and I know that a lot of you of PundiX followers have been wondering why is Ferdinand not making as many PundiX videos anymore? And it's not that I don't like PundiX and or PN NPXS anymore, it's just that PundiX has not been very transparent with NPXS and its future. I don't want to bring you all misinformation is essentially what I'm trying to get at. But before I go deeper into it, it is good to know that despite the obscurity from Pundi X and myself, they have acquired another reseller of the XBOS device in Chile. And let me actually go ahead and pull that up as you can see right here. Now, despite it not being a major uh, reseller, it still definitely adds up to the resellers that uh, the Pundi X team already has acquired for the XBOS device. Thus, think about it this way, and this is essentially the way I see it. When crypto goes mainstream and it go and everybody wants to get into it, they're going to need, especially retailers, they're going to need a device that allows their company to be able to sell, to be able to buy and so forth cryptocurrencies. Therefore, the XBOS device will help them do just that. It will help people spend their cryptocurrencies, it will help people buy cryptocurrencies, and it will help people sell cryptocurrencies. Therefore, they're definitely setting a foundation for that to eventually take off when cryptocurrencies in general become mass adopted. Now, on top of that, there is mention of the XBOS being enlisted on UEG, a trading tech-focused e-commerce. And upon looking it up, it actually does check out to be true, and we can actually see it right here. As you can see, I went to New Egg Business, I searched up XBOS, and as clearly, the XBOS device does show up along with the XPass. Now, if you ask me though, the price is roughly a little bit high. Uh, I know that to some of you, $300 may not be a significant amount. However, the reality is that the cheaper you make it, the easier it is for people to actually get on board. And I know that this is not exactly relevant, but it costs roughly $490.50 to make an iPhone 11. And Apple sells it for $1,099. Now, the only reason I bring that up is because essentially, if that checks out, that's roughly, that means that the XBOS did not take more than $150 to make. And the reason of me bringing this up is that they could probably ease up on the price. That way, more people would be um, more susceptible to actually wanting to try the XBOS device and so forth. However, with crypto being mass adopted in general, people will have no choice but to pay that price for the XBOS device or even more if that happens. And when that happens, uh, Pundi X may even get away with selling it for more just because companies don't want to get left behind and they want to be on top of it. Now, none of the, nonetheless, though, it is great to be seeing such a small advance. But the reality is that Pundi X is way too focus, focused on the X phone and are essentially not caring much for the XBOS device, or at least that's what it's showing or seeming like. Of course, this is all speculation, but check this out. Pundi X typically responds to me, but when I ask what they are doing to improve the NP NPXS, there was actually no response. I hate to be the one spreading FUD, but directly, I definitely want you all to know and be careful about NPXS in general, because let's check this out. As you can see here, I mean, it's loading and you can go up even further. I've asked Pundiax various questions, which they respond with pictures. They respond with multiple text. And as you can see, I definitely do multiple text because I'm trying to find out more for you all so I can bring you all better informative content. Now, as you can see, all of this, all of this, correct? Now, once I ask them, and I'll just read off really quickly, is there any news on NPXS? The community strongly believes you are leaving NPXS behind. And based on the company's actions, this does not seem to be true. And by the, that, I meant that they are actively trying to get new partnerships and they're actively trying to find new resellers. But again, let me just keep reading. Just trying to get more perspective since there really has not been anything out that essentially supports NPXS. They replied, hello Ferdinand, we're always trying to increase the utility of NPXS. For example, not long ago we announced that the X wallet 
all these dApps will be part of the token removal mechanism whereby we would remove 0.35% of the fees in the NPXS that we charge on them. That is great and all, however, 0.35% fee, I strongly believe that we can do better than that to attract them to wanting to use the NPXS for such uh, token removal uh, uh, aspect of what they're trying to achieve. Now, this is my reply. That is quite nice. So essentially, the fees are cut if NPXS is utilized? Question mark. Is there any more information involving the growth or use case of NPXS? Question mark. I'm curious because I'm trying to put out a video together revolving around NPXS and its use case and the steps that are being taken to improve its ecosystem. At the moment, the sentiment around NPXS is not the best due to lack of information slash updates on it. I personally believe things could turn out to be extremely successful for the XPOS device as crypto becomes more mainstream along with NPXS as long as it is being used as means of transportation for these transactions. Thank you so much for replying and further help bring more and help further help me that's what I misspelled there I suppose help me bring more rich content for the NPXS investors slash speculators. And as you can see this was in January 30th, 2020. And if we go ahead and click on their profile, they have been retweeting and reposting um, quite a while since then. So it just leads me to believe that they don't have big plans for NPXS. And I just, I, again, I hate to be the one spreading FUD, but I just want you all to be on the same page and for you, to, for you all to realize that NPXS could essentially be left behind. Now, I'm not saying that that is a fact. I'm not saying that that will happen, but it's certainly a strong possibility because the XPOS could always be updated and not support NPXS. I want all I want us all to make it, and I still believe when the X has strong potential but when it comes to npxs it is extremely obscure just remember that pundi x can be extremely successful without npxs now let me know what you guys think in the comments below because i think this is definitely a topic worth talking about because a lot of you and me as well have put some money into npxs and it's definitely more than just a speculation as in the sense of um we are trying to get a more transparent view on NPXS, but I hate to say it, but NPXS is not quite providing that transparency. They are actually keeping NPXS and its their plans very obscure. That's something that we definitely need to address as a community, and we definitely have to ask them to. Um, we definitely have to ask them more about it and have to get an answer about that. It's just like when the XRP Ripple community got together and started asking stop selling um, or demanding rather to stop for Ripple to stop selling XRP because they believe that was the cause of it going down in value. And I think that's essentially what we should do here is quite often just reminding them, hey, what are you doing for NPXS, the token that you initially came out with, the token that essentially made you the company that you are today? But again, that pretty much is for this video. Let me know what you think because, again, I definitely want to hear about this and see you all in the next one.